Welcome back to the morning show here on Tobago Updates Television. We continue conversations this morning in studio and we speak with Mr. John Arnold, no stranger to the Tobago space. He carries the cap musical director, concert producer, um, talent scout, so many caps he, you know, he usually wears. So this morning we're talking to him as a music director and I will say a concert producer as well <laughs> as we talk about 2064, a musical odyssey. Uh, good morning and welcome. Morning, morning, morning to you, morning to all of you. Right, and yeah. so we're talking, of course, when we're talking about you, we're talking about music. You're a guy uh, who I know ve is I very... I don't like to be pigeonholed, but okay, we say music, <laughs> yeah, but... I do so many other I things. I know you do yeah. so many other things, but I know for certain that music is something yeah. you have a natural yeah. talent, a, you know, um, a passion for, and you're a guy, you can hear a pitch and you can know exactly what key it is in. Yeah. I don't know how you do this, but you've been yeah. blessed with that gift. And so, you know, I want to honor you this morning for that. So let give me the I opportunity. Know, I'm, I'm saying that. Right? But, you, you, know, know? I, you know, it's funny. Everybody asks me, what do you used to teach in Cumbri? You know, I didn't teach music in That's Cumbri. That's right. <laughs> that was accounts, right? That was your accounts, accounts teacher. Business. That's right. So, so, you know, that's sometimes right. that happens. Yes, that's <laughs> right. That's right. Um, and so we're talking about this event, um, a Musical Odyssey. I know you had mm -hmm. a couple um, editions in Trinidad. Yes. Right. And how was that? So let's start there. Yeah, those concerts. Uh, the, the, the theme for this year is 2064. And we get in trouble every time we say that. But that means 40 more years. Um, and we're hoping mm -hmm. that it's a kind of futuristic journey for us that we're looking at how this organization can stay alive for another 40 years and how we can build and, and trying to get inside the contemporary trends and so on. Um, so the concert we started of two weeks ago in Naparima Bowl, really good. We had Southern Airs down there, which is uh, quite well known in that area. And we had Neville Chetlal, we had um, Joshua Regello, and um, we had the Sintela brothers um, guesting with us. Then we came to Central Bank last week, and what a celebration that was. We had uh, three of the other top choirs, um, Love Movement and Lydians on Saturday, and then we had the great Marionettes on Sunday. Um, what I'm doing is actually part of my uh, research at this point is really looking at all these choirs and the longevity and success for the last 40 years. And so in Tobago, we will have as one of our guests, music amateurs mm. this weekend, along with um, great Tobago voices like Stephanie Joseph, Lynette Louis, and on Pan, we have um, Jamie Ramsey, right? Mm. But the big star for, for Saturday would be Benjai, mm. who we're hoping to collaborate on a, a piece and sing together. So I think people would really love to see that. Um, we've done collaborations so far with Nabal Chetlal. Really, really, that boy is a boss. Got to bring him to the Tobago space soon. Um, so in terms of the concerts, they were really good. Um, people had a great time, and I'm sure in the papers you would have seen some of the reviews. Absolutely. And you know, we're talking about 2064, and I'm happy that you mentioned that. And it really speaks to the future, yes. right, of this beautiful, beautiful group, mm -hmm. um, of course, and the delivery that they give all the time, every time they take a stage. And you know, sometimes organizations don't really think about mm -hmm. sustaining and continuation and creating that legacy that lives on yeah. in time. And so why do you see it as being very important to ensure that something can be established now, at least for the next 40 years? Yeah, because one of the things that has come out from the longevity research that I was telling you about is leadership. Mm -hmm. Leadership plays a pivotal role. And when you go back to the whole choral um, landscape, um, the, the choral capital that, that most of these choirs have has been rooted in leaders. Joy Spence, Pat Bishop. Um, you go back, you'd see um, Joy Caesar, who, who's passed now. Um, Pat Bishop also passed. But these are all um, really strong leaders that had these organizations and left a legacy of order. So one of the things I'm really trying to see if we can do is we have a very good group. We have some solid people in there who have been there for donkey years. But we've got to, as we bring young people in, 
right now we have a, a girl who has been singing with us and who is doing exceptionally well, um, who is, who is um, 18 years old. Um, we have two young people actually in the, in the choir. And so that, that connection with Signal Hill Secondary Comprehensive, we also feature in them the school choir mm -hmm. on Saturday night, because we really want to talk about this continuity and this nursery that supplies voices for the organization forward. And also we've actually established ourselves as a non-profit legal entity. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a company. Um, and in that way, we feel that that will give us some sustainability, you know. You know, you forward. spoke about that, that measure of discipline Mm -hmm. um, when you come into this group or these types of organizations where you have strong leadership yes. that can kind of, and I'm thinking about a cultural change in mm -hmm. terms of how do I manage myself, my time, my space, other people's time. Because when you come together for practice rehearsals, you're not just there for yourself, yeah. right? So you have to contribute Correct. to ensuring if we start at five, I get there at 4.45, yeah. uh, you know, so I don't waste time. How do you see this transposing into your daily life? managing other aspects of your life. Yeah, so that, that's a good point, Adan, because I think one of the things that choral discipline certainly brings to you is uh, some great life skills. Um, I was making a point, we did a beautiful workshop with over 300 VAPA students in Trinidad, and we're doing the same at the library in the morning. And one of the things we were talking about is, what are the benefits of singing and, and belonging to a choral group? Teamwork. You have to find yourself sometimes, don't feel that everybody in a choir likes each other's personality. That's not true. But if the song calls for them to hold each other's hands, to lean on each other, to, they will do it. You know, because that's the performance, mm -hmm. all right? Post the performance then. But that calls for discipline. It also teaches you um, resilience, the, the fact, and also an appreciation for diversity because you have to deal with diverse people, diverse situations. Um, when we travel, you meet other cultures, you meet other people. So I think all in all, the, the choral space, right, allows you a certain amount of discipline. I'll give you one last thing here. Um, we even had a girl who got a job just by telling the employer in the interview, that she was a, a, a former member of Signal Hill. And this is exactly my <laughs> next question. I was going to say we should be able to put these things on our resume. You yeah, know, Because correct. these are skills. These are actual <laughs> yeah, life skills correct. that you need to, to excel wherever you are. And, you know, it's something that I really am happy that we brought to the fore this yeah, morning as yeah. an encouragement for those persons who have skills and talents out there and trying to find a place that you can call home to hone those skills and to yeah. build that level of discipline and commitment um, in you so that you can and that's excel. a good word, by the way, commitment. Mm -hmm. Mm. I, I call it investment, but you it, it, commitment is also. I think when you're in these things, you have to have a certain amount of investment in terms of the commitment mm. to really, really kind of doing this. We, we work a lot on what we call our movements, which is one of the things that's unique to our choral identity. You can't see Signal Hill without them moving mm. and synchronized movements um, because we have found that that really helps for entertainment value, that people, oral and visual, really makes a big difference to just oral, you know? Mm. Oral and visual is like it, it is like watching a movie. <laughs> yeah. You know, you get action and you get the, the, the spoken word, the, the, the musical notes and so on, it makes a big difference. And we kind of specialize on doing that, but that's our identity. It doesn't negate the fact that other forms of music have other forms of expression. Mm -hmm. And you know, talking about a movie is going to be a whole scene this weekend. So tell yes. us this date, weekend, time. Yeah. We want everybody to come down to Show Park on Saturday. On, not Saturday, Sunday. My goodness, how can I say that? So we are under the distinguished patronage of Her Excellency Christine Kangaloo. This show, our uh, entire show is under her, her patronage. She will be here. Um, the chief sec will be there. We have a number of other dignitaries that will be there in the show on Sunday. And we're, we're looking forward to welcoming them. Um, it's only $200. The box office will be open tomorrow, Friday and Saturday, and then all day on Sunday. Feel free to come down and purchase tickets. We have tickets at Ted Arthur Leather Accessories, um, 
up on Bernard Street. Mm -hmm. And from any member of the choir, you feel free. Um, you want to get a ticket, you can get that. And if you are online, you can also go on queensalltt.com. If you want to buy a ticket online. This is a lot of value for $200. Yes, it is. See. Yes. You know, just the, the, the Signal Hill Alumni Choir alone, you know, it, it has a brand that can be identified. Did I say music amateur? Yes, you did say music did say amateurs. That. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, really, yeah. They have yeah. a brand. And even music amateurs, they have a brand. Yeah, yeah. Certainly. You know, certainly. that you know once you're, you're, you're getting any type of interaction with that brand, you're getting something of value. Yeah, so I, think, I do hope. And, and, and lastly, I mean, people are going to get variety, mm -hmm. right? It's classical music. It's world music. It's African. You even get reggae, you mm. know. We did our Buju Band and Melin Jonah, which went down so well. Um, and then, of course, soca music, our own music, folk music. You know, it's, it's very entertaining. Very, very entertaining. I am absolutely certain that it yeah. will be. So, you know, of course, I wish you the very best. And I know people are going to come out, you know, and I want you to come out, get your tickets and be a part of an experience that you wouldn't be able to have anywhere else on Sunday afternoon. So come on out in your numbers, get your tickets at the box office there at Shaw Park from tomorrow. You can also get tickets at Ted Arthur's Design and from any member of the Signal Hill Alumni Choir. So be a part of an experience to remember. Thank you so much, Mr. Arthur. Uh, Thanks a lot, Adana. For that coming on. Of course, yeah. of course. A pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to go for a short break before we continue conversations in studio. And as we go, we invite you to help us. Share the live. Share the live. Share the live.